Hello Sagittarius, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your uh, love reading for the next five days and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And I do have a special going for you and today is the last day to get your orders in for the special. It is a three question recorded video reading for $25 and it is a same day special so you will receive your reading within 24 hours from purchase and everything that you'll need to know is posted on the community page for you all right my loves let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys we have the wheel of fortune now this is your energy and we'll take a we'll also take a look at the energy of the person that you're dealing with in a moment so your energy we have the wheel of fortune the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. The energy of the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with, we have the Fool, the Nine of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the King of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. We got the Six of Swords. You got three Sixes in a row. You got the Six of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. So some kind of big transition. So let's take a look here. So I do feel like this is a past energy. Okay, this is something somebody's coming back from the past. That's just kind of what this feels like to me. Um, especially with this Wheel of Fortune energy being here. To me, that can definitely be a comeback around. And it looks with this Ten of Swords, like you're feeling like this is something that is over. So you felt like this was something that is over, but now somebody is coming back towards you because that's how you're viewing them as the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you're also kind of wondering, has something really changed? I feel like somebody's coming to you and they're being very direct um, especially with this King of Wands showing up as their action. The King of Wands is somebody who faces a situation head on who's being very direct and honest and upfront. I feel like somebody is coming to you in that way. Um, you know, they're coming and they're just being very direct, very upfront with you. Now, for some of you guys, they could also be telling you that they have started to work on themselves um, and they have started to seek outside assistance, outside support. Okay, now this could look like friends or family, you know, maybe they have a good support system surrounding them. Um, but I also see the King of Swords sometimes as like an expert in their field. Maybe they, you know, maybe they have mental health stuff going on and they've finally started to, you know, get medication for that or they have started to go to counseling for that. Um, they could be, you know, doing something of those natures, of that nature, okay? Um, for some of you guys, I feel like they've started to seek help or seek support for some of the stuff that was problematic in this connection, you know, some of the stuff they have going on with them. So we have the 10 of pentacles for your intentions. To me, I just feel like you know what you want. Like you were like, I have a specific kind of connection that I want. I want to be treated a certain way. I want to you know, have something long-term, stable, committed, serious. I want to build and grow with a person. I want to feel solid. I want to feel stable and secure. I want to feel loved. Like, I just feel like you have a specific vision of what you want that to look like. And I feel like you could just be, you're, I feel like you're willing to hear somebody out. The Queen of Swords, she has one hand out and welcome, and, and then she has her sword up. So I feel like you're like, I'm willing to hear what you have to say, but I'm also willing to cut this off the minute I need to. It's also being very clear and open and honest, direct about what you want, what your expectations and your intentions are. I feel like this is a very significant conversation that will be pl taking place in the next five days. Their energy here, we have the full card. To me, this looks like they are, you know, wanting to have some kind of brand new beginning. They're wanting you to take a chance on them. 
They have, like I said, they have the nine of cups for their feelings. I feel like they are wishing for something here. They are feeling the best they have felt in a long time as far as like their mental and emotional health. Okay, they've been really working on themselves. They've been seeking outside assistance. They've been seeking outside help and they are feeling the best that they've felt in a long time when it comes to themselves. Now they have the two of wands here for their intention. It's just wanting to do things differently than they've done in the past. They know that what you guys have tried in the past and what they've done in the past has not worked. And this is like looking like, you know what, I, I know I need to do something different. I want to. So this is stepping outside of comfort zone. This is taking the lead in their own life. This is this is a really big step. So I feel like somebody's coming, they're being very direct, being very upfront with you here. They could be letting you know, hey, I'm going to counseling. Hey, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. So this looks very positive to me. We have the king and queen of swords is how you guys are meeting each other here. So I feel like it's both a little bit direct. It's upfront. It's honest. It's positive for the communication. Okay, they are divine counterparts as well. So I would expect this conversation in the next five days. Only you guys get to decide what's best for you, but I do feel like Spirit's wanting to prepare you for this conversation. Um, but that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want information for how to schedule the sale, that is posted on the community page. You can put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below if you want personal prayers for any reason. And if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.